it's been an emotional roller coaster. A lot of ups and uh, a lot of really joyous moments and a lot of really hard moments. Yeah. Our trusty driver, Yusuf, who we met in uh, in Abeche. Mm -hmm. He's very glad that uh, being with you. And uh, he's, he, want, he can go everywhere that you go in the camp. Very mm -hmm. good. He's, he's a very good driver. Mm -hmm. Very amazing. Very, yeah. Aggressive yeah. and assertive. Aggressive and and yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> so it, it, it feels, uh, feels good. Mm. Thank you, Yusuf. Shafar Adil, who is attentive. And, and part time translator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He helps with <laughs> translating <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been for you, Ali? We, we met last year. We've been in contact for a year. All American citizens will know I mean, how the refugees are living daily in their camp. And we hope uh, to continue our work and we will thanks God to turn back safely. How do you feel about um, the possibility of returning to the camp that you were evacuated from if, if we were to go in that direction? I was worried when we were coming from Abishit. Whenever we see, I mean, the bandits, mm. I, uh, you know, they will not touch me because I'm Chadian, but I'm worried about you. Mm. How, I mean, they take a hostage American, and I was coming with them. And that was I was thinking about, you know, since we're coming to on the road. And uh, thanks God, we'll turn safe. Okay. Since uh, we got to Abeche, things just uh, sped up in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And then the whole, I mean, our days just fly by. For day eight, we're going to a different camp. Weren't you already getting attached to this I first camp? I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking that. Very much so. I know. The people, I know. The, the routine of it. We come from America. American and in, in America, there is many people that care about what what is happening in Darfur, and uh, there's many children like you that know also about you. And they would like you to be able to return home very soon. There is a class in California of little children. And they all wanted to send you a message and they have some questions for you. So I'm going to show you what they said and then I'm going to give you what they wrote and draw so that you can see what they are like and then we'll show them what you are like. Okay, so here's the video, okay? Can, can everybody see? Dear friend, greetings from Redding, California. I am in se second grade at Columbia School. I play wall ball. Wall ball is when you hit a ball on a wall. Sometimes I ride my bike. A bike is something that you ride on the ground. What is it like at your home? What do you like to do? What do you need? Your friend Travis. And this is their classroom. That's where they learn. That's their teacher. Oh, now that was another girl's teacher. Your friend, Marissa. This is my house. This is my house. This is my temple. This is my... And that's me. So I'm going to give one to each of you, and then can you make a drawing of your home and your family? And we'll take your picture, and then we'll take that to these children. 
and we're ready California so that they get your drawing and your picture and your friends. I'm going to sue it again. Thank you. Thank you. So, this one for you. Yes. Ashlyn, yes. for you. Same time. Emily. <laughs> Emily wrote this for you. Terry wrote this for you. This is Josh. Josh wrote this for this boy right here. Another Emily. There's three Emilys in this class. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. The children taking their task very seriously. And they're so well behaved. They're all making a little drawing for the children in Reading. For it to be the first time we're getting stuck. Hello, how are you? We, we could be better. <laughs> But I, but I am sorry, I have not the money by this. You have what? <laughs> but I am sorry, I have not the money by this. The, the American situation? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not bad over there. And how, how is the Darfur situation? Darfur is very bad. Very bad? Very bad. What, what is happening in Darfur? War. War? Yes. For how long? I think it's been uh, three years. Three years. Three years. So you've been living here three years. Yes. How how did you get away when your village was attacked? From did, my, from our village. Uh huh. How, how did you? To, uh, our position take to all the uh, Jinjawid, uh, the government, but let us with our anything and burn it our clothes and and houses all. The, the government. Yes. For the Jinjawid. Yes. The government. They are come. Attack us when we get from our village. We are coming across the country, Tishat. but uh, we are come at the border. Also, the, the government not let to us come to me and catch into me when at the forest. They were trying to catch you in the forest. Yes, I run. I run. I let to them. I come by night in this country. I inside from that. I from that time I not return at. I did so you ran in at night to yes. get away so yes. that they wouldn't catch you yes, I and you come this to this country? Yes. Very badly. Father, <coughs> my brother, two brothers killed to me and two. my father also killed me. Two brothers? Yes, I am get out from my house. Yes, I am. My family all... All like, of your fa family was killed? Yes, all killed. Yes, I am a star in this camp. Two. But I am very sorry. I haven't even read the English. You speak very good English. <laughs> so two brothers, a father... <laughs> All. And who else all. in your family? All dead. All, all killed too, yes. Uh -huh. Who do you live with here? But just I am in this camp. Alone here in this camp? Yeah.